don't hurt them. Do Who are you talking about? Who do you think? Plants. The gifts from nature that surround you, of course. You don't even notice them. But if they hadn't found a way, you'd surely have noticed their absence. Found what way? To survive the pollution we forced upon them. You're such an ignoramus, like most people. He'll be going soon. Don't worry. The pollution? Yeah, the chemicals we people dropped on them. The chemicals we polluted the soil with. That's why nothing grows in the earth? You're not from the city, are you? Yes. The soil is so polluted that nothing can grow in it. And when you think about it, it is impressive how nature always, uh, finds a way. It is. It is impressive indeed. People have tried different things. We lacked food. It caused chaos. Starvation brings the worst out in people. But the plants? They're so much better than people. When we were killing each other for the last of the supplies, Plants went to seed, and just started growing where they could. In a way, nature took back what was taken from her. Why rooftops? The soil on the roofs was purer. Must have been the rain that diluted and washed away the chemicals. It rained more frequently back then, but now, when there's less rain, they're going to have to make tough choices again. What do you mean? See these crops? Corn, cucumbers, wheat. They need more water than they're getting. We're doing our best to irrigate them, but it's not easy when our own supplies are dwindling. So, less water-demanding species are taking over. Tomatoes, beans, squash. But that creates another problem. What's that? They establish deep root systems which can start damaging the structures of buildings. Obviously, that would directly impact our own survival. So, think it's gonna be us or them? I'm pretty sure it's going to be them. <laughs>